Chips gave it the green light. You got your war. Terry, for hell, for sure, does not want this war, guys, especially anymore. Welcome back to Fog Entertainment, and we are discussing today episode five of season no episode three of season five damn there's just too many numbers going about you know what it was a very underwhelming episode and I, we can tell for the comments we can tell for what we thought i mean if you want to go check out our full review for the both of us 51 minutes of us discussing breaking down episode three of season five so make sure you go check out guys and all that good stuff um do you hear the rain. Up next though, I see the black light. Will it be any better? Based off the promo, I wouldn't be that convinced. But back to episode 3 here. Terry busts in. Jess did have a, a hard day at work. It's like, oh, Nestor, I have a sister. And it's like, hold on here. Last season ended with those two, like Nestor and like Nestor going after Jess, being a wee bit suspicious. And now it's like six months later. And now there could be a, a romantic relationship. Could Nestor be the one? To pull the trigger and kill Terry. Doubt it. Doubtful. Don't know who's going to kill Terry. But as for this scene, Jess can't believe that Jasmine only got her over so Terry could speak to her. Jess goes to leave. Terry grabs her by the throat. Is actually holding her up against the wall. Um, by his hands. Like her feet aren't even touching the ground. He's like, where the fuck did my guns go? Which is a valid uh, thing he, he wants to know, but like the, the gun shipment that he's on about here, of course, is when the mines hijacked the shipment in episode one. But if you do the math, I mean, that was episode one, this is episode three. Like a good few days have passed, like surely if he needed this information, he'd have got it, but he's choking Jess out. Jess obviously can't really give him information when she's being choked out, giggity. And then you've got Jasmine who picks up like a, a, a faz. And, and cracks Terry twice over the fucking dome with it and he's bust it open and he's like and then and then you think fuck is Terry gonna die here is Jasmine gonna have him a few more times but then he starts to break down he's like I don't know what to do he's like that fucker that insane bastard <laughs> and he's on about um Isaac Packer of course that uh this guy is just so unpredictable he says he's been giving me those eyes Oh, those devilly eyes. He's been giving me those eyes. So Isaac is is petrifying Terry here. Terry is absolutely breaking it. He is fucking shit scared of Isaac. You know what? I think it's kind of funny to see this, but at the same time, it's like, mate, you're a you're a, you're a Sons of Anarchy member. Use your fucking balls and get stuck in. Hey Isaac, and then like you see Jasmine asking about what would Joker and Hoysia, and he's like, oh no, they're they're, they're Team Isaac, man. They're Team Isaac, they jumped off Team Terry. <laughs> How it turns around Terry, because last season, mate, you you were the man. The absolute man. But, you know what, I enjoyed this scene for what it was. Like, it's showing you, like, Terry's having a bit of a fucking tough time with Isaac being president. He's having a strain on him, he fears for his life. But why couldn't we have got more Sam Dino in this episode? Like, this is literally all you got. Terry returning home. It just seems a bit shite. To be honest, that we we need more Sam Dino. I mean, Isaac, in my personal opinion, for the double premiere, was the MVP of it. His acting was fucking brilliant. And he was like, "Fuck me, fuck you," um, all that stuff. That was really good. And we don't get to see him in this episode, which is disappointing. If you look at the trailer for episode four, he doesn't appear to be um in it. But if you do the math. Episode 5, the description reads, Minds and sons fight to the death. So I'm going to assume he has to be on it, guys. But anyway, until next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace.